Hello everyone. You actually want the rock stable 36 frames in every condition in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I can give you two impressions now. The first one flying over Bora Bora where you can see the wonderful blue sea and it actually runs extremely well there is no stutter very fluent experience This is the other heavy lift flying through New York and you see as well here we have permanently stable 36 frames which is with SSW and virtual desktop uh, 72 frames and you see it runs very fluently. How do we achieve that? And this will come now in the next few minutes. I will quickly guide through you through my settings, which are actually working pretty well on my computer. And then we will close the video also with some additional footage in perfectly stable 36 frames. Going now into the settings, so what we actually have uh, set up is uh, the Crest 3 is set to 72 Hz um, because I will not be able to reach stable 40 frames. Um, we actually count with seven, 72 Hz, which is which require 36 frames stable. And then in virtual desktop I've activated um, SSW which actually makes a, uh, a frame generation which allows fluent experience even in lower frames. Um, overall, I have set up like decoder in which it is up to HEVC 10 bit um, to at the end of the day being able to permanently stream uh, and play without having um, bigger stutters. What we have to do is actually we set um, the LSS to ultra performance. That's the only way I actually get permanently 36 frames. I would actually also prefer something like performance or balance, but uh, it is actually too taxing for the graphic card. Um, fidelity the TFX sharpening I just set to 100 it's at the end of the day uh, we have sharpening filters uh, through virtual desktop which are working pretty well so I actually um, would like to show you now the rest of the setups so what we actually do is um, we set the level of the, the detail level of terrain to 100 it's actually the same that I'm also doing for flat screen in triple 4k um, here we actually lower a bit the, the buildings uh, the trees, plants, grass to, to low um, we still want to have like good texture quality so we want to set it high uh, water is not so taxing. I actually take uh, volumetric clouds to high 
uh, just because you you know you're flying a lot through uh, clouds, so you actually want to have that uh, in in the good uh, in the good quality. And the rest I pretty much uh, set to low or medium. Um, just at the end of the day to uh, have a little bit of uh, freedom uh, for my frames to really hit that stable. Um, 36 frames in all conditions. Let's check out some additional impressions. Uh, I hope you actually can make use of the video and also the settings I have and also will post my computer for reference.